Hey guys, so today's video is another episode of my makeup stash series. Today we are dealing with drugstore blushes. I asked you guys in my last makeup stash series what you wanted to see, either foundation or blushes. And honestly, I don't know which one won. Which one won? So many people said foundations and so many people said blushes. I'm almost positive that blushes won a little bit, but I mean foundation was right was right there I really couldn't decide so in two weeks I will be doing foundations when I sat down to film this video I was like wow for someone who really doesn't care for blush that much I have way too many I decided to split it up into two so today we will be dealing with drugstore blushes and then after my makeup stash foundation video I will do um, high-end blushes after that just because if I showed you all my blushes we'd be here for 45 minutes so yes drugstore blushes I like to stick to more natural blushes. I really love warm peachy colors and stuff like that. I like warm colors, you know this. So not, not a lot of my blushes are like cool toned, which I know sucks because I know a lot of people love them, but let's just talk about my drugstore blushes. Let me move my water bottle. I'm not gonna go in any particular order at all. I have three mineral blushes from LA Colors. LA Colors is like dirt cheap. It's really, really inexpensive. They are the same brand as LA Girl, but even cheaper than that. And I haven't used these in a while, but you guys know I use, well, I don't know if you guys know, but when I first got these, I used them all the time, especially this one right here. It's my favorite. So let me show them to you. And I will link all of these blushes down below. I will like link, I want to start linking things more. I think they help better. One of you guys mentioned it like recently, like, hey, you should like link stuff. And I'm like, you're right. I should link stuff. So that's what I'm going to do. So this one is in the shade Natural. And I love it. It's a very, very natural, everyday blush. When I first got this, I reached for it more than any other blush in my collection. It's just a soft, really pretty, natural color. These blushes do need to be built up a little bit, these mineral blushes. But for the price, I don't mind working a little bit harder to build up the color. And actually, sometimes I prefer that because sometimes I don't want to dip my brush into a blush and then like, oh mama, oh mama. You know, sometimes I like, oh, I like the building process. So I can appreciate that. So this one is natural. I like saying it like that. This one is another favorite of mine and I recommend this for you if you are very, very fair. This one is called Blushing. It's a really pretty soft, it's very similar to natural, but a little bit softer, a little bit more pinky neutral. I don't know if you can tell, but it's beautiful if you're very, very fair. Sometimes if you're very fair, it's hard to find a blush that doesn't look like ugh, on you. And I really love this one. And then the last one I own and love, this one is called Sheer Bliss. It's a beautiful pink, and while the other two are matte, this one has a little bit of a sheen to it. It's not super noticeable, it's not crazy, but it does look glowy on the skin. Like, almost glowy, I don't know. It's like a satin finish, but with a sheeniness to it. I don't know, it's really, really gorgeous. It's a little bit more pigmented than those, and it stands out more. Okay, let's talk Revlon. I only have one Revlon blush. I had two, but the other one fell and shattered into a thousand million pieces, so I threw it away. This is the Revlon Powder Blush in, this sh in the shade Naughty Nude. Uh, this is what it looks like. I love this. I love this. Looks, this looks great with any makeup look. This pairs perfectly with any makeup look. Even if you're just wearing mascara or a super deep, intense, smoky eye, this one is a nice nude. It's, that's exactly what it is. It's a nude pink it's beautiful it goes well with like everything i just said that but let's talk about milani the best blushes at the drugstore in my humble opinion i really don't think that any other blush makes me feel the way that these feel and they are the baked blushes by milani these are the, the best the best if you haven't tried the milani baked blushes why why i'm gonna show you my absolute favorite one and i'm not gonna lie this is probably my favorite drugstore blush ever this is in the shade luminoso if you watch youtube videos then you would know that everybody loves it but everybody loves it for a reason it's the blush i'm wearing on my cheeks right now i added very little bit i wanted it to be more bronzery my makeup look today but i do have Lum luminoso on my face it gives a beautiful glow to the skin it's a peachy blush very peachy 
and it looks good on a lot of different skin tones especially more like medium to fair it's one of those blushes that I feel like I can wear very 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 minimal makeup barely any bronzer and then throw this on my cheeks and I just look fresh and awake and put together I love it and I just love the sheen in it you almost don't even have to put on highlight I mean I did today but I'm excessive I really really love Rose de Oro I love this one. This one is a little bit more bronzy-ish. See, this one is luminoso, and this one kind of gives you that luminoso feel, just a few shades darker. This one has more gold to it. It definitely has like gold shimmers all throughout it, but it looks stunning on the face, especially in the summertime. Um, this is pretty pigmented, so I just like to dust it really lightly on my cheeks, like in the summer, and it just so good, I love it. And then this one I have, which is a cool tone blush, but it's surprisingly beautiful. This one is in the shade Delicioso Pink. It's beautiful. It's like a cool tone, almost has a purple undertone, but it looks so pretty when you're doing like a cool tone look, just to throw this on your cheeks. You can build this up. It's one of those blushes that doesn't look crazy. It, it looks crazy in the pan. And even though it is pigmented, you could blend it really well. So even if you put it on your cheeks and you're like, oh, that's pink. You could take your time and blend it and it doesn't look splotchy or uneven. That's what I love about this blush. You could really blend it out and make it look super natural. This is another blush. That I haven't actually talked about this on my channel because I got it like two months ago one day when I was at Sedanos or with my grandmother or Navarro. I'm not exactly sure where I was. But this is a Jordana blush in the shade Sandalwood. This is another great one for very, very, very pale or very... I hate the word pale. Fair girls. It's a beautiful everyday pink. So, so pretty. And these blushes are like $2, I want to say. And they're very pigmented. I could only really wear this when I'm my natural skin color, not when I'm like tan. Because it is a little bit of like a whitish pink. It's great, like I said, great for fair skin. These blushes, for being so inexpensive, they're actually pretty good. So let's talk about NYX because I have a million NYX blushes. I have these new ones that NYX came out with recently. Not like super recently, but I got them at the NYX event. This one is probably my favorite. Wait, is it? Yeah, this one's my favorite one out of the whole HD line. These are called, I'm sorry, did I even say that? The NYX HD Blushes. This one is in the shade Soft Spoken. It's, <laughs> these are all looking very similar, aren't they? <laughs> On camera, for some reason, it's not picking up how peachy it is. It's a very peachy blush. Like, that's a, that's what it is. It's peach. Like, a straight-up matte peach blush, which I love. I love peach. I love warm colors. Peach just looks so pretty with, a, like, a deep, bronzy, smoky eye. Love me some peach. This one is gorgeous, too. This one's called Beach Babe. And it looks like a bronzer in the pan, but it's not. Like, when you go to blend it out onto your skin, it has a beautiful golden sheen, like a golden shimmer. It's amazing. Per I think the name is Perfect Beach Babe because it's like a nice beachy look to your face. Perfect for the summer because the golden sheen is like intense and beautiful. I really like this one actually. And then this one is for everyone who just likes one of those nude blushes that's not too peach, not too pink, not too brown. It's just a perfect nude. This one is called Nude Tude. And then I have three of their like original powder blushes these are just like the regular powder ones i have this one which i've used in a video last summer and this one is called cinnamon and this one is scary like look at this that is scary it's straight up coral orange but i love it i really really love it i mean you need like barely barely any product to put it on your face because it can get really scary really fast but i think this is the kind of blush that would work for so many different skin tones i think that deep skin tones can wear this um, and it'll look nice and natural but for someone like with my skin tone you really really have to use a very light hand but when you do it kind of looks like i don't know how to explain it it looks like naturally flushed cheeks like you've been in the sun it's so pretty and then i have this one this one was my favorite for so long if you are like an og subscriber i used to wear this non-stop i actually got this in an ipsy bag this is in the shade mauve and it's a really pretty natural mauveish pink really pretty goes well with everything and then this one is beautiful definitely like one of my top five favorite drugstore blushes this one's called terracotta i like to call it terracotta it's a golden, shimmery, 
peachy, just a sheen. It's a golden sheen and it's beautiful. This is also a super amazingly gorgeous eyeshadow, by the way. Okay, so two more NYX blushes. They were in recent um, hauls. These are their NYX baked blushes. These are illuminators and bronzers. But I have this one in the shade Sugar Mama and then this one in the shade Chiffon. Sugar Mama is like light. It's a really pretty blush topper because to me this is more like a highlight, like a peachy highlight. But this looks nice on top of blushes. And then this one is really pretty like as a mauve shimmery blush in Chiffon. They're not my favorite formulas from NYX, but they are really pretty. I don't really love the packaging. They're a little bulky. A blush that I found that is really inexpensive that was that's also featured in that haul I posted, my most recent one, and I love it, and I didn't think I would. This is the Essence Silky Touch Blush. I want to try more in this line. This is in the shade Baby Doll. Oh my gosh, this blush is beautiful. It looks like just a regular blush in the pan, but when you put it on your face, your face almost glows. It does have a sheen to it which I love. It has a beautiful sheen. Like this makes your cheeks glow, but not like in a crazy shimmery way. There's no like shimmers or glitter. It's just a pink with a sheen. It's gorgeous. These are like $2. If you haven't tried Baby Doll, I highly recommend because it's good. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about e.l.f. blushes. Blushes. I love e.l.f. blushes. Actually, no. I am not a fan of the e.l.f. studio blushes, the ones that look like the NARS packaging, not a fan. I've always found, a lot of people like them, but I've always found them to be too chalky and too powdery and they just, I don't like them. But these pressed mineral blushes are my favorite e.l.f. blushes. I love them. Um, these are also, I would say, like top five blushes in my drugstore blush collection. I love them. If you haven't tried the pressed mineral blushes from e.l.f., do so they're a few dollars they're amazing so I have two here the other two are really beautiful too but but they're better for deeper skin tones I love this one the most this one is in the shade sweet retreat all these blushes are looking really similar and it's making me sweaty it's a really pretty soft pink I used this in a recent like drugstore get ready with me it is beautiful with like a chocolatey eye makeup look it's beautiful it's not too cool it's not too warm it's a just perfect light pink blush and it blends like a dream these do not look chalky they do not like skip on your face i don't know what it is but this formula feels like butter they feel like butter they are so so good and then this one is beautiful too if you want like a more peachy corally um cheek this one is called cabo cabana it's a coral like a really light coral, really beautiful. This one does have little flecks of glitters in it, but I mean, they don't really show up that much on your skin and it's nothing to like worry about. It's a really nice blush. Then I have this e.l.f. blush palette. This one is actually in the shade light. They have another one either in like medium or deep or something, I'm not sure. But this is the light blush palette. If I could open it. This is what it looks like. This is so amazing to travel with. And actually, don't be fooled. This one right here, these pop out by the way. These pop out, which is amazing because you can buy both the light and the dark one and customize it, which is what I did. I customized it because this blush is actually in the dark one. It's in the dark palette. And I didn't like the blush that was here, so I just took that one out and put this one in from the dark palette, like I just said. So I love that they're interchangeable because say you have one that you really love. You love the whole palette, but say you have one that you really love and you hit pan on it, I mean, you could just replace it. I love it. It's only a few dollars and you get... A decent amount of looks this one's like a perfect orangey like nude one this is a more mauve this one's hat it's a pink but with like a reddish undertone and this is a really pretty cool tone pink this is great because it has a big mirror and you could travel with this and they actually blend really nicely and they're pretty good so I really like this highly recommend and then these two blushes from elf are new releases these are from the beautifully bare collection I was gonna do a whole video on it but I didn't because I didn't end up liking the mascara um, but if you want me to review, where is it? If you want me to review the e.l.f. foundation serum, let me know in the comments below and I will review it for you. It came with this, this is, this brush is actually in the beautifully, beautifully bare collection and it's fabulous. If you don't have this brush, brush, can I speak today? Oh my god. It's the e.l.f. blending brush. If you don't have it, get it. Anyway, so these are the two blushes that came in the collection and while I absolutely love one, I don't 
love the other. So this is the one that I don't like so much. And it's not because I don't like the color. This is called Rose Royalty. It kind of feels a little bit waxy and... It just doesn't feel the same way this one does. And you would think they would be the same formula because, you know, but it's not. This one feels a little bit waxier um, and a little bit harder to apply, a little bit harder to blend. So I am not a fan of Rose Royalty. But then this one has a really creamy texture. This one is in the shade Peach Perfection and it's beautiful. It's a cream, by the way, these are cream blushes. This one feels completely different. Easier to apply, it's easier to blend, it's a beautiful peach, and if you're into cream blushes, I don't know if you guys have noticed, I don't have cream blushes from the drugstore. They're just, to me, harder to come across at the drugstore, but this one is really pretty, blends easily, and it's a nice flush of like peachiness to the cheeks. I like it a lot. Okay, so that was everything from e.l.f. Let's keep it moving. Okay, so I have four more products to share with you. This video is already like a million years long. Can you imagine if I would have added high-end blushes? Ooh, I've been here all day. This is the L'Oreal True Match blush in the shade um, Baby Blossom. I love this blush, and I don't really use it that much, but it's a beautiful, cool-toned baby pink. Sometimes, sometimes, I really do. I put on my makeup, and I'm like, wow. This would look really pretty with a cool tone, like light pink, and I'd go for this. What's great about these blushes or these powders, because they have a couple blushes in the range, is that they're so easy to blend. They are the, you know, True Match Super Blendable powders, so it makes sense. Oh, I forgot to mention this blush when we were talking about Milani. Oh well, I'll talk about it now. So I got this blush mainly for the packaging because it's beautiful. It's their powder blush in the shade Romantic Rose. It's literally a rose, and it's gorgeous. I don't love roses, but it's gorgeous. <laughs> it's a really pretty mauve pink, and it's beautiful. The formula is not as good as these baked ones. It's not, but it's still a really pretty color. I mean, you could wear it. It's a blush. It's nice. And then these last two products I have, they're kind of like blushes and highlighters in one, but I wanted to mention them because I use them as blushes, especially this one. These are the Maybelline Master Highlight Highlighting Blushes. This one you've seen me, back in the day I used this all the time. This one is in the shade Nude. It's a really pretty like cool tone bronzy pink blush. On anybody deeper than my skin tone, this would definitely 100% be a highlight. Like just a straight up pinky highlight. But I like to use this as like a blush topper. Whenever I'm wearing like a matte blush and I'm like, no, I need a little bit more. I grab this and I add it to a really pretty pinky sheen to my face. And then this one is called Coral. It's so me, look at it, it's so me. So me. It's a beautiful orangey, corally blush. It's gorgeous. And this one is a little bit deeper, like I could definitely wear this as just a blush alone. It's not a highlight on me, it's too dark to be a highlight, but it's a beautiful, glowy blush. Okay guys, so those were all my drugstore blushes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment down below letting me know what your all-time favorite drugstore blush is. Blush is. Because if I don't have it, I need to go get it. <laughs> Stay tuned for my Makeup Stash Foundation video. Should be coming up in about two weeks. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Let me put my lip gloss on. Because it's popping. Oh, and it broke. So I love that they're interchanged. So I love that they're interchangeable. So I love that they're interchangeable. <laughs> and they're so easy to blend. Who is calling me? I don't know this number. Peach just looks so pretty with like a bronze.